Hey everybody, Jum Jummington coming to you with another episode of Jumpcraft Christmas Edition. Now I'm sure you remember from uh, last year's Christmas that I uh, it didn't work out so well. I, I tried to make a nice little tree and it was okay, but I guess some of the you know cruel and evil things that I had committed against the uh, villagers down there didn't earn me any points with Santa Claus. But, um, you know, I, I think I've made up for it. You know, I've got two iron golems in here keeping them safe. I've fortified their, their area here, and I've been, you know, saving uh, zombie villagers and reviving them. And while it's true I haven't let them out of their quarantined area, I, I think they'll overlook that because of all the, the nice things that I've done for them this year. And uh, in that spirit, I decided to build a, a much nicer tree, I think. And uh, we're going to go check that out now. Just uh, pearl myself over there. Yeah. Yeah, I like this a lot. Actually, I brought that uh, that one villager, you know, in the spirit of a, in the holiday spirit, I guess you could say, I brought that one uh, stupid librarian with uh, his ridiculous, like, 44 emerald enchanted book trade over here to help me with the tree. Uh, and uh, we worked for a while, and I got along pretty well with him. I'm taking a, calling him Carl. I think is a pretty fitting name, but he seems to have wandered off, which I gotta say is pretty typical of the guy. He's just really inconsistent. But anyway, we got this tree here. I think it looks pretty nice, you know, nothing too elaborate, nothing too fancy. You know, you, you don't want something that's that's too out there for Christmas, because you gotta think, you know, we're gonna be working on this every year and putting it up, taking it back down. So I, I like to keep things kind of simple. Now, uh, the tree ended up being a little bit bigger than I thought it would be uh, when I started working on it. And again, I blame Carl for that because, you know, I really put the designs uh, in his reins and he just kind of went wild with it. And I wanted to work some fireworks into it, which I've got this little circuit here. The flip of this lever will blast off some fireworks to celebrate Christmas properly. Um, and I'm kind of worried that they're, they're going to hit that tree. But, it, you know... I don't think anything really bad is going to happen because of that, because, you know, fireworks can't set anything on fire, so I really don't think I need to be too worried about it. But I am a little concerned about Carl. I mean, out here all alone in the dark, uh, there's a good chance he's already been killed by a zombie. Um, so I don't know. I mean, he, he can't be too far, because I've seen a lot of zombies take a particular interest in the tree. But, uh, you know, we're just going to kick it. Wait until nightfall, and I can fire up those fireworks, and we can uh, kick off this uh, Christmas extravaganza. Well, night's upon us. Getting some interest from uh, the local zombies. Must have some sort of uh, vestigial memory of uh, their living life of Christmas. Still haven't found Carl. Occasionally I can hear him calling out to me in the night, but I, I'm not sure where he is. I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, anyway, let's get these fireworks started up. This looks, oh man, see, that's what to worry about there. Did they put the fireworks too close to the tree, and now it's, oh god, is that Carl? Carl, get out of there! Get away from him. I'll save you, Carl! Well, couldn't save Carl. No idea he was stuck in the tree. Of course I blame him for that. And for this, this is his idea to put those fireworks so close to the base, but I'm, I'm sure this will be fine. I'm sure there won't be any negative repercussions to this come Christmas morning. Uh, I'm sure Santa will recognize all the good deeds that I've done and uh, overlook this, this slight engineering oversight. Uh, I'm sure it'll, it'll all be fine. Maybe. Well... There's nothing left of the tree but the ornamentation, and uh, man, it's going to be kind of a pain getting all that torn down. But, you know, I'm just going to leave it up. I, I kind of like the look of it. Uh, I, I'm sure it's it's fine, and, and this will attract Santa Claus. You know, even with the tree gone, I'm, I'm sure he'll he'll understand. Just to be on the safe side, though, I'm just going to leave something here. I got cookies. I, I would give him more than three, but that's, that's really all I can spare. I mean, I got a lot of cookies. But, uh, I mean, I, I really kind of need those for myself. I also put some milk here. You know, that it is milk, not poison. 
Um, so hopefully that'll be enough to uh, take care of Santa Claus. I mean, uh, uh, you know, convince Santa Claus that, um, you know, I'm, I'm a good guy and uh, I deserve to uh, to get some cool presents this year. I'm hoping for some diamonds or something, you know. Um, that would that would be great. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to leave that here tonight. We're going to pop back tomorrow morning and we're going to check it out and see what Santa leaves us. Oh boy, oh boy, Christmas morning. Oh, I, I can't see if I got anything. That stupid dirt road is in the way. Hurry up and get over there before Santa realizes what I've done. I mean, what happened. Which was a complete accident. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. What? Oh, no! <laughs> Let's take it easy, fellas. Oh, oh, God! No, it was an accident, I swear! Oh, God, why? Come on, man, take it easy. If this is about that poison milk, I can explain. Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, it was all just a horrible dream. Or, or was it? Gotta go see. Carl's okay. Maybe, maybe everything's gonna be all right. Is that him? Is that Carl? This, with his stupid book and all. Oh, Carl, I'm so glad to see you. It's a Christmas miracle! Miraculously, Carl is alive, and I have Santa to thank for that. But uh, Carl has expressed a concern with remaining inside the village, given the uh, apparent hostility I feel towards him. And, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I totally understand. Um, so I've built him this nice railway to take him off to parts unknown so he can start a new life. I've packed him up some provisions here, and, you know, hopefully he'll, he'll have a good life. So let's just... Let's just send him off on his way, and uh, I mean, I, I will miss you, certainly, and uh, this is a, a sad time to part on uh. Christmas, which is a time of togetherness and family, but I totally understand, so let's just uh. pull him on out of here to his new home at the bottom of the ocean. And don't forget your luggage, because you're going to need that. Let's go and look at that present. See, Santa thought that he was going to get the last laugh on me. But the joke's on him. See, because now I've killed Carl, but he's already left this present here. So, you know, he's he's stuck. He's just going to have to wait till next year to get back at me for this. So let's just check it out and see what we got. Nothing. Merry Christmas, everyone.